Hey everyone, this is Afizullah Masoodi and you're watching from Code with Hafiz. In this video, I'm going to show you the demo of the complete task tracking management information system which is built with Laravel 9 and VGS3. So my local Apache server is running. Let's open a new tab and uh, run our application. So let's go to localhost uh, slash task mis. So this is the final output of the course that you will get. So first of all, this application has a complete authentication system. As you can already see, a login, register, and a forgot password functionality. So to show you all of them uh, briefly, uh, we have a register. So you can register a user here. Well, this user will not have the access to any part of the application, but this is uh, a start that you can use to create a user for yourself. And if you get back to the login, uh, this is the forgot password which is based on uh, email verification so you will put your email here and it will se uh, send a reset link to your email and next up what we have is this contact us so if you click on this uh, with this form you can contact the administrator of the system and finally now we have the login so let's log into the system as admin account and then I will show you uh, what else do we have in here so let's say admin at app.com and the password is password. So first of all, we have the dashboard in here which shows all the assigned uh, tasks with all uh, completed ones. Now this will differ for each user according to their user ID. But for admin, uh, well, admin can see all the tasks that are being assigned uh, through the system and also uh, all of the ones that are being completed. So for this chart, we have uh, two kind of charts bar chart and a line chart and the results are shown sorted according to the year and months so you can change the type of the chart here as you can see and it is completely API based and you can also uh, check out the other airs now you will see this one uh, after we uh, create some data or create some tasks then you will see the effect of the charts more briefly so the next part is the management so if we click on this one you can see an admin can manage departments, roles, permissions and users. So if you go to the departments, well this one is completely based on API. So it, this means that whatever changes we make here, the uh, page won't refresh. So if we de create an, a, a new department, so let's say new department. And if we store it now, now you can see department created successfully and it has been added to the list. And you can also search it here so let's say new and you can see it's searching on instance and you can also edit it as you can see department updated successfully and to delete it you can do it like this so the rules is the next one so this one is based on Laravel which means it is not API based so this will include all the functionalities here for example the create the search the update and delete all of them are uh, completely based on Laravel. So if we create another one, you can see it is redirecting to the create page. So if we go back and edit our one, you can see it is the update page. So if we click on delete, you can see we are using bootstrap model. So if we delete it, it will be deleted. Now permissions are also like this. So you can see, well, we can create two kinds of permissions. One is basic one and the other one is cut. So we can create uh, all four ones at once. For example, let's say test here and you can see it will create all of these permissions. Now let's go to the users. So in users, uh, it is completely API based because in here uh, you can see we are using this mu uh, view uh, multi-select component, which, uh, which is a good thing to know. So you will also learn how to use view multi-select component like this. So in here you can see we have the permission categories and we have uh, permissions empty. So whenever we select a category, then it will show uh, the permissions related to that category. So this is something I did uh, for this course. So let's close this one. And if we edit a user, you can see it will show all of the users data and then we can save the changes. So each list has a search with it and also it is paginated according to 10 rows in each page so for the ones that are completely based api their pagination is also api alongside with the search 
and the ones that are based on uh, Laravel their search is also Laravel based and the pagination is also Laravel based now next up what we have is the task tracking MIS functionalities so to show you this one what we can do is we need to log out from this account and I will minimize this one to the right because I want to open another browser to log in from another account or to log in uh, as two accounts at the same time now we need another browser because each browser holds one session for a site so in here because we want to demonstrate the functionalities like real time so we need two browsers or two sessions so let's click on here and I will open the testing and bring it here and in here let's say localhost well, this should be localhost and task MIS like this and for this one what I will do is will let's log in as director so let's click on here and let's uh, log in as IT director so let's say IT director at app.com and the password is password so let's press enter and for this other one we will log in as IT manager so let's say IT manager at app.com and the password is password so let's say dot com here and this one should be password well both of them are from the same department so if one is uh, IT and the other one is for example HR uh, they won't have any connection between them because this application is based on uh, departments so the employees or the director or manager should be in the same department to assign tasks complete tasks or see each other's performance in the same department so first of all to show you how you can assign a task uh, in the director account let's click on this one and let's go to assign tasks well director is the one who can only assign tasks and get reports and it doesn't hold any higher authority on top of it so this one is the highest level of employee uh, in the department so let's create a new task so for this one let's say task from uh, IT director well, and here let's say first task like this for the priority let's select urgent let's select a start date let's select an end date and for the description let's say some text for first task of IT director like this and let's assign it only to the manager and you can see already in the list it is showing only the IT related users which we have IT manager and two employees so let's select the manager and let's store it and you can see this one is also API based so if, if we scroll in here you can see now we can comment and edit and delete and uh, show the details and while we were assigning this task you already did so that we have the real-time functionality here which pops up so if you click on this one now you can see we have new task first task from IT director and five minutes ago so for this five minutes ago I have used a JavaScript library so it will uh, show uh, the possible near uh, time so that is the reason instead of seconds it is showing five minutes ago so we can mark all as read or show all the notifications and then clear it so for now let's only mark all as read like this and to check out the inbox a task now we can go to the sidebar and let's go to inbox tasks so this was how you can create or assign a task and now you also have seen that uh, how the real-time notifications also work now the next thing I want to show you is real-time comments so let's open the comments here and in here let's also open the comments and uh, as you can see it is also being uh, required or validated so let's assign a comment here so this is from the director to the manager so let's say hi please complete this uh, task on time and if we submit this you can see we have real-time comments and the one who has submitted the comment can also edit it like this and can also delete it and uh, let's assign another one in here so let's say hello yeah sure it will be done on time like this and if we submit it now you can see uh, because this user has submitted this comment so he is the only one who can edit it and delete it 
So if we edit this, let's say update it here and save the changes. Now you can see it is updated also on real time. And if we delete it, the delete is also in real time. So if we delete this one, it will be deleted from here also. So the next thing I want to show you is the task performance. So this one is the one who has assigned the task. So the manager should uh, assign and the performance. So if you click on actions, you can see in here it will show the details of the task. And if you scroll down, you can see in here uh, the manager can perform the task. So let's uh, perform this one. So let's say uh, result of the first task. And whenever we assign some percentage, you can see the status changes from no progress to under progress and if it is 100 it will be completed so let's make it completed and let's also select a file wallpapers and let's select this one and let's save the changes so now you can see the task has been completed and now we have this notification here so if you click on it you can see task completed and it is the first task from IT and director so let's mark all as read like this and now if you click on the actions and uh, show now it will not show it because we didn't refresh the page so let's refresh it and now if we open the actions and show task now you can see it has been completed and performed by IT manager progress is 100 percent and if we uh, click on this one it will show on the file like this so after the task has been completed it will not show in the inbox instead it will be shown in this completed now you can see the task is uh, listed in here so we can send back the task to the inbox also by for example making the per percentage or a progress less than 100 so if you make this one 50 and save the changes now you can see it's not showing in here and now it's uh, getting another notification so for the task performance now it says a uh, task performance because the task is not completed so if you go to the inbox now, now it is uh, still in the inbox under progress. So the next part is to show you the reports. Uh, so let me maximize this one and let's go to the reports. So for the reports, we have a report type in which you can select all of these reports. So let's uh, suppose we want to get the report of assigned uh, tasks. So we have a start date, let's say one, and we have an end date, which will be 28. And now we can get an Excel report and also a PDF report. So if you click on Excel, now you can see file has been downloaded. And if we open it, well, this is our Excel. And we don't have any uh, tasks. So in here, we are not getting anything because for this user, if we get back to our uh, browser and check out the assigned tasks, uh, well, this user haven't assigned any of tasks to other users. So that's the reason it's uh, showing empty Excel report. So let's select another kind of task. For example, this inbox, because we know that in the inbox of the IT manager, we have one a task. So let's select this one and let's select the start date and let's select an end date. And this time if we download it, so let's open it. And now you can see we have one task, which is under progress for this user in the inbox. And if we click on the PDF, now you can see we have a PDF file so if you open it and in here we have one task in our PDF file so let me close this one so now if we check out our dashboard so let's get back to the dashboard and in here let's select 2023 well for now we have nothing here and that is because for this one we have assigned tasks completed by others tasks and completed on my own tasks so if we send this inbox so let me send this one to the completed again like this so we already have a file and now if we get back to the dashboard and select 2023 now you can see we have one completed on my own task so if we log out from this account and log in as admin at app.com so let's see new password here now in here in the dashboard it will show all of the tasks throughout the uh, system so for the admin it will only show the assigned tasks 
and the completed by others uh, tasks. And regarding the reports, uh, it will be same data as for the charts. So what we get in the charts, uh, we will get in the report of the admin also the same uh, tasks. So guys, this was a brief introduction of the task tracking management information system and it was very quick so there is a lot of work uh, going around at the back end so if you want to learn how i built this application you can enroll yourself in the course so you will learn uh, these two frameworks and build a nice application like this so this being done it was all for the demo so i hope to see you in my course if you like this video and want to learn how it is done now you can get the course link from the description of this video with a coupon code which will expire in 4 days from now. So if you don't want to miss this discount, you can enroll now using the coupon code link. So finally, don't forget to give this video a like and a nice comment also. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe too if you want more videos like this. So thanks for watching. See ya.